We're gonna be here a while. <sighs> Mark Sager, video and a phone call. Hello, it's Mark. Oh my gosh. And there's still more stuck in there. Well, everybody, welcome to Sager Steam Clean and welcome to the channel. Today, I'm back in Minnesota. I've been home just shy of one week now by about two or three hours. Since I've been home, the weather's just fickle. Just a few minutes ago, it was sunny, and really nice out. Now it's getting windy, rainy, sleet, <laughs> dirt blowing in my mouth. <sighs> welcome home, huh? I've got another job here you gotta see. This, yeah, I'll just take you in. Let's show you. They said it smells like dirty dog. Yep, confirmed. Case closed, time to go. <laughs> oh, they want to clean the note says too. <sighs> Dog smell is one of the hardest things to get out. There's also more carpet in this place and they're not gonna have it cleaned. So there's probably gonna be dirty dog smell yet. We'll make a note on the invoice. That, that, that ain't good. She's trying to get away with the wind. Here's what we got. Oh, settle down back there. Howling. Anyway, it's a typical worn polyester. And all they want done is this living room, that bedroom I just showed you, and this little hallway going to the bathroom there. I'm gonna tell you, that track's gonna be in it. Those tracks around in the center, those are all gonna be in it. Because it's your typical polyester that just does that. Just cow paths, just within months can look like cow herd has been going through here. Older house, mining community. So again, here they go upstairs and, huh, light left lawn, let's fix that. Yeah, taken care of. They said, don't do them. I'm not gonna be an overachiever today and try to convince them otherwise, but just gotta let them know, it could still smell in here. So let's go fixing. And I've got a new mango side I've been experimenting with, so today's experimentation day. Let's see how it goes. We're gonna add it into the pre-spray Enough to give it some boom when it hits the carpet, I hope. Nuclear explosion, not quite gonna happen, but it, with some time, it can help eliminate odor. This place, by the way, the guys were here and they came to clean it. When they got here, there was about that much on top thickness of sawdust through this whole thing. So they were remodeling and stuff and they were just sawing everything right in here. I'll put the pictures up. It was disaster. So there's a good chance we're gonna get a lot a lot of stuff out of this carpet pre vacuuming <laughs> Now it's sunny and rainy. Great. I'm supposed to be joyful that I'm getting rained on. Oh, that door is, they should have put a couple screws in there. Not my job. Oh, good grief. Let me show you that on the first passes. We're gonna be here a while. Good gravy. Oh my. Now, this, this is not gonna go fast at all. Good grief. <sighs> Mark Sager, video and a phone call. Hello, it's Mark. Good grief. I've been here an hour and between phone calls and messages, this is all I've got done so far. This, this is not going well. It's, this is gonna take forever to vacuum. Much 
is in there. There's no way. I am not getting all that out. It's, I don't see that even as a possibility. God, grief. Oh my gosh. just doesn't quit. I don't know if I go the other direction too, if I'm gonna get more out. <laughs> Rainy, now it's sunny. Probably gonna snow next. Oh my gosh, it's sand layer. I have this bad feeling that I could vacuum this living room for a week and it'll just keep growing and producing. It's just, oh man. Oh, look, it's sunny in Minnesota for another five minutes. <laughs> it's great to be home. It smells like a wet dog in here, yuck. Just don't know. Just don't know. Do you see that? This is ridiculous. Wow. Good grief. It just bogged it down. <laughs> what is that? This can't be real. Stop the ride, I want off now. My gosh. I don't know if I'm ever getting to the bottom. You see that? If I've done uh, if I've done two thirds of the room, I'd be surprised. And it's that full already. It is just non-stop sand, sawdust, debris. Oh, yeah. 
I don't know what I got into. I thought it would be a great idea. Come home early. Get some videos for this. Hope you're enjoying it. I'm going to miss dinner. I need, I know, I could cut down, but. Yeah, I'm not done yet. I've been here probably an hour and a half. That was another phone call. <laughs> so, at some point I'm gonna finish the vacuum and get steam cleaning. I gotta hustle. I also promised my wife Sherry I would be picking up some stuff for making dinner tonight. One of my favorites too, Sloppy Joes. I love those. So, I, got, I, I, I do have some obligations, so. Oh, that was hard to push. Ah, but we'll get her done and I'll be back. Okay? Okay. Oh, God dang it. Oh, oh, that hurt. All right. That's what I got out of the living room so far. Boy, it's all the way into the cone. I bet you I got it into my filter too. Whoa. Let's see what we get here. Ready? Oh, get back here. Oh my gosh. And there's still more stuck in there. Ugh. Ugh. Sawdust everywhere. My face in my mouth. Wow. I gotta give up at some point. This is just never gonna end. I, it's, I don't know what to do. All right. So. Did the bedroom, didn't get much out of there. Decided, well, let's go over this another time. It just won't quit. So I think what I'm gonna do is, got my CRB in here. I'm gonna go get the trays and I'm gonna put the trays on this puppy and take them off, like get off of there, there. So put the trays front and back and see if I can get out more junk with that. Just ridiculous. I'm not gonna hook that up yet. Okay, I'm gonna put up my sealador by sealador.com. It's gonna go in here, but the problem is, is what about these darn screen doors and all this wind? You know, they can just get destroyed and damaged, you know. This one here, the shock absorbers up there, it can just get it can just get killed. So what do I do before I put that up? Sager spotting bag, of course. So it works really good. Hold it in there and it's going to brace also up against that rail that's there. Then I just put this door in place. Pretty dang easy and simple. Keep the noise and debris out. Yeah, I got Christine out there warming up. Ah, easy. This might be a narrower door. Yes, it is. So it's narrow and you see this floppy floppy up top here? I'm going to fix that right there. Just twist it. Twisty twist. Okay. I gotta go mix some code red. Be right back. That's uh, light. Dang steps. Welcome back. We're done vacuuming. That's a plus. <laughs> All right. This is code red with some mango side, which isn't on the market, and I'm still testing because I like to test a lot. We're gonna get rid of that dog smell. We really will. It smells darn yummy.
All right, so I got the trays on this thing in front and back. This is a counter rotating brush system. So first of all, got to take it out of its handy holder. So when you've got it in that, it conforms and doesn't allow the brushes to flatten out sitting on them, on them flattening. If you flatten them, just take and put them in hot water, they should come back. This here, see that? Ain't going anywhere. I can't get it to start. And then if I push that tab there, I got to be pushing this handle forward. Engage, boom. Now it's not going. Give it a shove. <laughs> I've had all these calls on that. That's why I am doing that. So in case you're new and didn't know, there they are. So now I'm hoping with the trays, I'll catch a few more things in debris. Ooh, this is gliding along really easy. So what I'm doing is I'm agitating in the pre-spray to get it in with the side really deep. So the side needs to make contact with an odor causing molecule, slice that molecule in half so your nose can't pick up that odor anymore. So I'm driving as deep as I can getting it agitated, getting it aggressive, and let it do some work. A few things, but man, dry vacuuming was where it's at, I guess. I did as well as I could. So you're gonna see wear patterns in here. The camera's gonna pick it up better than the naked eye. But, I'm gonna try to fluff it up, bring it back to life what I can, so the CRB is gonna be my action for that. You can see it's changing color though. There's some soils in there. Here comes a spot spill stain. <laughs> Let me get you a little closer. So we're gonna agitate over top of it a bit. Get the pre-spray to do its job. It's almost gone. Yep. Give her a little action. You can even go both directions on the fiber. So you get both sides of the fiber, you could say. All sides. And that's what I should say, all sides of the fiber. All right, it's looking pretty good. So with dog odor, you want to get out as much of the soil as you can too, because that also is what it attaches to and dwells the dog, leaves some dander behind for some of them. That just is smelly. So stinky. Wandering. You're wandering on me. Okay, now with these trays on, I have to run alongside the wall because, of course, I can't get the brushes up there because those trays are about four inches wide. So I'm running up against here, carefully, carefully, carefully. I'll turn around and get the other side. we we'll go back and forth this way, I suppose, too. But hey, you know, just seem to be there. I know, if I don't do it, some of you are gonna wonder, did he really do it? Did he really do it? I did it. We clean them corners. <sighs> Bedroom, here we go. Okay, let's get that off there. Push, pull. Let's see what we got. A lot of carpet fiber, some debris, construction debris. Yuck. Get the back one. Now in this one, could be a little more from the pushing and pulling. But either way, it's got junk. There's junk in the trunk. All right, as normal, we clean these puppies out. So, gonna get that debris out of there. Sacrifice a little bit into the filter bag. But look at, as I spin it backwards, all the debris that falls out, you want to get this out of here. You don't want to leave that in your CRB. That's got to come out of there. Otherwise, cause some corrosion. Hair can get up against the bearings and push the bearings out. They're, still, they're a sealed bearing. At least until you get so much bulky junk and hair and debris up in there, they're not sealed anymore. Destroy and push them aside. So there, not bad. All right, 
Let's go get her to a tree. So I'm actually going to go start with the bedroom first. It's not that bad, not super soiled and just okay. And so I'm gonna give this more time for the side to keep working and slicing that odor in half. Yeah, I'm gonna be back there. And then I'll come out here and take care of this, okay? Need a vacuum hose. Water line. Got it. Let's go, boys. It's pretty crazy. Soils I'm seeing and not seeing. Watch out this middle even more. Well, there was something there, and he's gone now. Just so you know, this has already been my second time over this area right here, giving a little more attention. Of course, dry passes. Yeah, that's in there. Uh, oh, you painted the carpet. Why'd you do that? I have to get that out in a little bit. Silver removers, scissors.
<laughs> Almost got ya. I better hurry up. It's starting to get dark out there. Yeah, I've been here a little while. Too many phone calls today and just took a long time just getting the vacuuming done. And well, okay, I'm a little I'm a little older and slower, okay? I am. Also rinsing pretty thoroughly. And this, this is an eighth flow. <laughs> Courtney, <laughs> four flow shoddy. <laughs> That's Courtney Lee, I'm just giving him static. He's a friend, I can do that. Okay, this is gonna be, of course, pretty darn soiled. Another Mark Sager video and a phone call. I'm just about done, okay? Can you wait? You're gonna have to wait. Oh. Yep, phone's done. So am I. All right, I have some mango side from something else I was testing around the shop, and I don't know, I'm just gonna mist it down. Now keep in mind, you gotta make contact with the odor-causing molecule, so I'm not gonna hit it heavy. Just gonna mist on top, give it a little more odor control on the top and groom it in and see how it does. So I'm gonna go around the whole room, basically do this, and then just start grooming it again. Get it to carry through the fibers and down at the bottom a bit. All right, that's what I'll do. I would normally use my electric multi sprayer with the lithium, but of course I left it in the shop. So here I am back old school, like some of you might have to do too yet. Get my crutch here. It smells really good. A little hungry. I was supposed to pick up stuff for dinner. Well, it's dinner time right now and my wife was just calling. How about if I just put this in for right now and cook it? Then we'll have Sloppy Joe's tomorrow night. Perfect. <sighs> She's awesome. You know, it's the wet of my feet for a big guy. Do my own stunts too when I fall down. Pretty darn good for what it was. Wow, I don't do bad work. Well, everybody, thanks again for being here. If you would, maybe even consider giving us a comment and a thumbs up and a like if you would. It just helps make the videos go out a little further. And if you'd even consider subscribing, we'd love to see you back again. And I'm off to the house and 
there goes my phone again. So I'll answer some more phone calls as I go home. But again, thanks so much for being here. Look forward to seeing you in the next one. Uh, the girls got fresh haircuts. Little, little yip. What do you look like today, Miley? What's your haircut look like? Oh, roo, <laughs> roo, roo, roo. Look, we've got little sweetheart bandanas or strawberry bandanas on. All right, come on. Oh yeah, look it. How's your haircut? Come on, sweetheart. Hi, come on. Oh no, you look pretty good. Yes, you do. You all look pretty, pretty stellar. All right, come on. Let's go for a little run. Okay, come on. Let's go. Good job. Look at you. Oh. Pretty nice out today, isn't it? Now, it's been all over the place. At least it didn't snow. Come on, let's go. <laughs> it's been a while since he's dodged under the Durango. Come on, let's go, honey. Yeah, look at you two. Oh, you don't have to be on a leash. Does it feel good, huh? <laughs> all right, come on, girls, let's go. Did you guys get dinner yet? You didn't? Oh my goodness, makes me just growly too. Rawr. Come on, let's go. Come on. Ah, there you are. 